Okay, Sean, I wired up my pellet stove into my um, heat pump thermostat, and ever since I did that, my heat pump is acting like a straight AC, where the compressor comes on, first stage and second stage, but the reversing valve doesn't energize, and the heat package doesn't uh, energize. So let me just show you what I've done here. Okay, so these extra wires that you see on here are just wires I put in parallel and connected to these indicator lights so I can kind of see what's going on. Um, so I took the jumper out between RC and R. On the RC side is the red wire coming from the air handler. On the R is the red wire from the two wire coming from my pellet stove and then this white wire uh, over here on emergency heat is the white wire coming from the two wire on my um, pellet stove and then everything else the same reversing valve first stage fan common uh, second stage and then the heat package number 170 system type I chose number 12, 3 heat, 2 cool, heat pump with auxiliary heat. It skipped right over 180 and it went to 190, which as you know is the changeover valve. Zero is the OB terminal controls valve in cooling. That's what I have it on, zero. 200, which is auxiliary heat, uh, zero, electric backup heat. Maybe this is where I've messed up. I don't know. I've put it on zero. Um, I did not put it on fossil fuel backup heat. I, I don't know. Maybe I got it on so the heat pump can use the heat package as electric backup heat. 220. Skip past 210. All right, 220. I think I've hit all the important stuff. So let's just go right into the test. Okay, cooling test. Cooling system test. Zero, compressor and fan are off, that's true. Number one, compressor and fan on. I just heard the outdoor unit come on. Okay, plus I got my ground here on the common. Here's the yellow wire, I touched that. And I got voltage. If I take my uh, lead off the yellow, I lose it. So that seems to be working. But it's like the, the reversing valve. Should that be energized right now? I would think that it should be and it's not. See, let me touch this. I got nothing. Plus the light's not coming on. So I don't know. Fan, green, I got that. Okay, so let me go to the second stage. Compressor. Okay, black wire. It's energized. Um, still no energize on the reversing valve. So I don't know. That's, that's what's not working. Also what's not working, I'm going to skip the, uh, the fan test. I'm going to go right to the heating system test. Zero is heat and fan off, which the compressor did just turn off. The fan is off. Number one, first stage compressor. Um, I didn't hear the outdoor unit come on yet. There must be a delay on the outdoor unit. But if I go to first stage here, um, I got it. And the fan is on right now too, okay? Then if I go to number two, second stage, okay, black wire's energized, okay? And then we got number three, third stage of heat turns on. I don't know what that would be in this situation, honestly. The thermostat clicked. I'm not sure what was supposed to energize right there with the third stage of heat. What terminals being connected to the to the uh, positive. I'm not sure about that. Um, 
but first and second stage are energized right now. So let me go to the emergency heat test. Okay, light came on. Heat and fan is off. Number one is heat on and fan on. I can hear. Okay, now the fan is on. We got that. And my pellet stove just came on. I hear the the uh, the the fan for the flu thing. That that's going. So the pellet stove is starting when I'm in my heating test on one, which is heat and and fan on for the emergency heat. Second stage auxiliary heat. Um, I don't know what else just energized. I really don't. But you'll notice in the heating test on number three, when I go to the third stage of heat, yeah, that's right, third stage of heat, I would think that the white wire would be energized when I'm doing 3-3. Uh, three, three. Heating system, third stage of heat. I would think that the heat package would energize. Um, now, it, it apparently, it's just not. The white wire is not being energized. And right now, if I was to take my amp probe and I put it on the line voltage wires in my panel for the heat package, it's only drawing like one and a half amps. So, um, I don't know. If you can like spread some light, maybe I did something wrong with the programming. I guess I can't put the jumper back in between RC and R because it would buck the transformers. If you could write me a note or something, man, let me know if there's something I can do. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. See ya.